Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you're watching today. Sasha here. Today's Tuesday, so you know what that means, y'all. It's another episode of Tuesdays with a T. And um, yeah, folks, I don't know where my uh, usual makeshift tripod is which is a book holder, but um, I decided to stand my phone up against a package that I received. And um, yeah, it was just call it, you know, it works. It just works. So folks, tea for the day is Republic of Teas Super Green Tea Detox Tea. This is... Hmm. Oh, for cleansing. Okay. Uh, this has Japanese matcha, green tea, m green apple, and mint. This is U uh, USDA certified organic. You have 36 tea bags, unbleached tea bags. Um, that's Republic of Teas shtick. And um, yeah, they're super green tea. It was um or it is excuse me because they still do sell this line um they're they have a super flower super fruit uh super green tea i think they have a super herbal or something like that but yeah they're super teas um they do cost more than their regular teas that they have on their website. I forget how much I paid for this, but um yeah, a bunch of description, descriptive passages. Let's get on into it, y'all. So, it says here, organic tea for cleansing. Nourish your body from the inside out. This sweet minty green tea that blend, excuse me, does all of that and more. With matcha and chlorella, this infusion delivers antioxidant benefits that are too good to ignore. Chlorella also promotes healthy digestion and is considered a superfood. With a green apple and mint finish, it is delightful on the palate. And the flavor profile they give it is minty and sweet. Um, they actually have a supplemental facts because this is considered a dietary supplement. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, serving size is a tea bag. It's servings per container is 36. Their proprietary blend is the following. Um, it's 1.4 grams of organic green tea leaves, organic spearmint leaf. Organic chlorella powder, powder, excuse me, or algae. Organic Japanese green tea matcha leaf. Other ingredients include natural apple green flavor or green apple flavor. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't read today. Um, super green teas. This is about their whole line of the teas. For thousands of years, people have sipped green tea to stay healthy. When ground into a fine powder, green tea leaves transform into matcha and all those incredible mind-body benefits multiply. We have blended organic Japanese matcha, premium green tea leaves, and functional herbs in one super tea for a healthy, smooth-tasting infusion. There is 25 milligrams of caffeine per serving, and their instructions for heated tea is to heat six ounces of fresh water just just short of boiling and infuse the tea bag into hot water for two to three minutes i had this tea iced and i did the cold brewing method y'all know re reoccurring thing here right so um yeah i didn't i'm not having it hot but if i want to have it hot i will definitely keep that in mind so I just let y'all, you can pause if you want to read and get the information to join their catalog club. I would highly recommend it as they give you um, free samples within each catalog. And you can sample 
um, a tea every month. Excellent tea company, by the way. So, folks. Oh. My mother went to town on this. But as you can see here, there's matcha dust on the tea bags. Got some on my fingers, unfortunately. And they're round. I use six tea bags per quart. We can put this to the side. And dust my fingers off. It's gonna, I'll dog it. Uh, my hand sanitizer is on the other side of the room, y'all. So I don't want to get up right now in the midst of recording. So, folks, we're just going to go ahead. Um, the smell, though, y'all. The smell of this tea or the tea bags, it does give me mint and maybe a hint of green apple. Um, of course, I get the matcha scent, but this is how the tea looks and brews. Typical green tea coloring, not so much of a matcha. Um, the picture in which I did the cold brewing, it has a, a bit of turbidity that's due to the matcha powder. But that's to be expected. So, folks, let's go on and give this a sip, shall we? Folks, this is Republica Tea's Super Green Tea Detox Green um, Cold Brewed. No additional sweetener. Cheers. Mint comes out. It's very nice. Um, the chlorella is not as abundant or apparent as one might think. Like, you would think that you're tasting liquid grass or something and liquid algae. No, the natural green apple flavor and the mint help round this out. Um, on its own, would I say it's sweet? No, but it's definitely minty. Um, yeah, y'all, it's um, got a nice roundness to it because of those two flavors. So y'all know, in terms of sweetening, I got to try it with some stevia. Just a little, not too much. And it's going to swirl it in. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Um, yeah, bulk of school is starting back. So, you know, I'm just worried. I don't know how um, in my specific county, in my city, whatever, how they're treating the school reopening. I haven't seen any school buses, so that's good. But I have seen um, schools crowded in terms of the parking lot. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, this is a pretty rural-esque, I want to say, area. So, yeah, like we only have like two high schools. And they're not even, they're like pretty far away from each other. But, I don't know, maybe a lot of people are opting for uh, virtual school. Like, I haven't seen, and this is just high school, though. Like, middle or middle and elementary school, I don't know what they're doing. But, I would hope that they would sit, or they, not sit, but you know what I mean. Like, they would be in their homes learning. Alrighty, y'all, so that should be enough time between the stevia and let's give it a taste. So, folks, this is, again, the Super Green Tea Detox Green, this time sweetened with a little stevia, cold brewed. Cheers!
when you sweeten this tea, it helps the apple flavor pop out more. Um, I still get that kind of cool feeling from the mint. I would want, um, I don't know, y'all. Like, I would want, you don't get much of a vegetal note with the green tea, but this might, that might be, that might suffice, rather, for someone who doesn't care for green tea, but you want them to have the benefit of green tea, well, then just have them sweeten it with, um, stevia or you know whatever sweetener of their choice of course you want a little to no calorie sweetener and um i think it takes it takes away from the bear tea itself but yeah y'all <laughs> let me not ramble on too long i'm ready to give my verdict so folks in the case of Republic of Teas, Super Green Tea, Detox Green, out of my rating scale of good, okay, bad, first, no additional sweetener. I would give no additional sweetener. Um, I'd give it a good. I actually liked it. I got notes of, you know, vegetal notes from the chlorella, the Japanese matcha and I could taste the green apple flavor it's not too overwhelming um to the point where you would think that it would take away from the vegetal note like people who like the taste of green tea um you'll like this you'll like this it it, it really adds more of a dimension to your typical flat water, I would suggest that, you know, you have this um, substituted for your, if you like drinking regular water, just to like spruce up your taste buds so that you're not downing water just to drink water. Um, and it's really, it, it, it's really light. It's not a really dense tasting tea, like, you know, your black teas and your oolongs. Um, I think it would pair nicely with like a lunch, like a kind of dense lunch. And um, I, I particularly like the mint and apple. I think it'd go together quite nicely. Um, would I suggest sweetening it? Well, when it comes to this tea sweetened out of my rating scale of good, okay, bad, I would rate this tea, um, when you sweeten it, I'd rate it an okay. It, it kind of loses that flair when you just have the tea as is. I don't particularly like... Uh, well, not not like. It's not a bad tasting tea, don't get me wrong. But I would definitely have this tea unsweetened or no additional sweetener versus sweetened. Because when you sweeten it, it has more of the apple flavor come out. And the mint kind of is there, but it takes a backside... But it tastes dense and heavy, like I need to chase it with water. Um, I I didn't use too much stevia. Oh no, because I know I would I would I would admit to y'all that I messed that up. But no, I just don't like how with certain teas, like it's like a breath of fresh air. Well, I guess it's like a for your taste buds, we'll leave it like that. It's a nice breath of fresh air for the taste buds, but when you sweeten it, it's kind of icky feeling. And it takes away from the chlorella and the matcha green tea, I feel. So folks, that's going to do it for me and um, this episode of Tuesdays with the Tea. 
let me know how you feel um y'all know the drill any questions comments suggestions or small talk don't be a stranger leave it in the comment section below any and all are welcome greatly appreciated love to hear your thoughts and opinions um on the products that i try and yeah folks with that i bid you adieu safe stay vigilant don't go out unless you necessarily have to if you do wear a mask have some hand sanitizer on deck y'all um this is sasha signing off and yeah folks until tomorrow for wellness wednesday right all right take care take it easy and bye now